We have with us uh, today a guest for our luncheon, uh, Ms. Martha, Marcia Marcia Richardson. Richardson. 24-year-old Marsha Richardson may not be a front-runner yet. She is, however, a forerunner. Her campaign to date consists mainly of public appearances wherever she can get them. Today, she tried to win votes among the Dallas JCs, an effort that met with some apparent success. <laughs> <laughs> She'd be our most beautiful sheriff, wouldn't you? Well, I'd have to say she'd definitely be up there for an award of some sort along that line. <laughs> She's counting on endorsements for the most part from women's groups, but she claims supporters everywhere. She says she offers experience. Her experience is a mixed bag. A former beauty queen, once selected Miss Seagaville and then Miss Dallas County, she's also a former deputy sheriff who graduated at the top of her class. Marsha Richardson helped blow the whistle on the sheriff's department two years ago during the notorious bail bond scandal. In campaigning now, she stops just short of considering Sheriff Jones a crook. Well, basically, I'm talking about the bribes that were brought out in the court of inquiry and several other things of that nature. And one of the ways that I plan to do this is to try to set up a strong internal security to investigate allegations made by the public about the department and about uh, specific persons in the department. She is against the location of the minimum security jail plan for Oak Lawn. She is for higher educational requirements for new deputies, 60 hours of college at least. Marcia says the big obstacle in this race will be to convince voters she can handle the job, convince them Dallas is ready for a woman sheriff. Well, people don't realize that the sheriff's job is administrative, and they always think that I would be soft, but all I can say is that I have proven that I, I am honest by my court of inquiry uh, testimony. I've also proven that I can take the heat. The old pros at the sheriff's department tend to dismiss her candidacy altogether. She failed to get even one vote in the recent deputies poll. She says she expected that. It does not affect her campaign. Rita Trevino, Channel 8 News.